my name is Michael Baltz. My wife and I started volunteering with uh, World Relief in June 2016. We first started um, learning about World Relief thanks to a volunteer coordinator, Sylvia, who we met at uh, Metropolitan Park. And uh, she really enabled us to uh, understand the importance of World Relief and its organization. It's amazing to me that I'm able to have an impact on worldwide crisis here in my backyard. And that's what World Relief allows us to do is, is uh, provide shelter and uh, refuge you know, for those people you know, fleeing um, you know, war and devastation. When, uh, when we got assigned, I uh, met Sylvia, you know, we did the whole training process and she said, oh, there's four, four, four uh, young gentlemen that, that you're assigned with from uh, Erythria. And I had to look where that's on the map. And uh, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, in Eastern Africa. And um, I had no idea what to expect. And we went and picked them up from the airport. And, um, you know, I was so excited for them, you know. And um, I, you know, just thinking back to where, like, my relationship with them was a year ago to where it is now. And um, just how they're just trying to, to find a way in this world and survive and still provide for their families simultaneously. And um, it's, it's so humbling, you know, you think of like, oh, I'm volunteering, I'm doing this, but, you know, these, these guys, you know, foot some, you know, test fay, hopped them, you know, Asmaron, Maritab, you know, they, they do more for me than I do for them. And uh, I know that sounds, you know, perhaps cliche or, you know, what have you, but, um, but, but they, they exemplify how love knows no boundaries. And, um, and they come over here and, and uh, see that I'm here to help. And, you know, they just love me and my wife and, you know, my son. You know, they came over and, you know, bring me fruit when my son was born. And, and one of my guys hopped him. They, he had a baby as well. Um, you know, it's a real beautiful thing. And be able to share that, those experiences with each other. And um, it really is a great blessing to, to be part of that, part of their lives. It's crazy to think that, you know, I met Sylvia, volunteer coordinator, you know, started this process and, you know, got my four guys. And I was chatting with my friend John Rutherford about it and he was just, just excited for me and wanted to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, he came over and visited, you know, four guys, our four guys and, you know, we'd go over to their house and every time we go over to their house, they just cook and cook for us. And, um, and he was like, he's like, man, I really want to, to get more involved. And it's kind of crazy, you know, John and I have been friends since high school, you know, what, 10, 15 years now. And uh, it's wonderful that we get to experience uh, this together as well. I'm John Rutherford, and I uh, decided to get involved with World Relief through a friend of mine. Um, he was going out of town one weekend and asked if I would help uh, take a handful of the refugees that he helped support uh, to church on a Sunday morning. So. Said sure, no problem, and uh, went and picked him up, and uh, beginning of a great relationship there. So from there, I came and met with World World Relief and and uh, the great group of people they have, and um, went through the the onboarding process, which was really simple, and and um, and was assigned a, a group of, uh, of young ref refugee men that I was able to uh, come in and, and just start not only helping them but learning from them a lot, and with that I. Uh, I learned a lot, <laughs> to say the least. I don't know how else to better describe that. You, you, you go into this with the idea of, you know, I'm gonna spend a, a few hours a week and, um, you know, I'm gonna take somebody to the grocery store or take them to church or maybe I'll help them with, with, with some English. But in the midst of that, you start to, you know, you start to learn about their stories. You ask them questions, where they came from. Um, it puts things in perspective. <laughs> so, It's a great learning experience because I started to think differently. It wasn't just taking them to the store. It was understanding that these are real people who just need a chance and need an opportunity. And I can help them with that. And man, once they take that, this mind blowing what, what they really do with it. It put a lot in perspective for me, as I said. I started to, to work with them, uh, understand their, their, their stories, and uh, in my own life, I realized that you know, the, the, the longer line that I had to wait in didn't matter as much. Or um, the little inconveniences of life just 
were not that at all. They were truly just actual blessings that I had the opportunity to even deal with this inconvenience that they would never even have the thought of. And uh, it's impacted me in so, so many ways. I think, I think for anything, you know, it can be pretty intimidating because, you know, these guys come in from another country and speak little to no English. Even the guys now who I visit with for, you know, potentially hours on the weekends, we really, it's hard for us to talk because, you know, they don't speak English. And I think that's the biggest deterrent, right, is just getting out of your comfort zone. And, um, and I think that's normal. I think that's okay to be uncomfortable, um, just, you know, opening yourself up, you know, to that regard. But, uh, but I will tell you that the benefits of doing that and, and being that, that peace in someone else um, really it is worth it, you know. There's no other way to really explain it. It's, um, I definitely encourage you to, to, to do it and to, um, to be part of the program.